religions has just exploded in front of our faces in, most, in its most radical and dramatic expression on September 11th and thereafter. I am very aware that not all Muslims are jihadists, but all jihadists are Muslims. Let me be clear, because this is something very sensitive. I am not saying or implying that we are confronted by Islam or that we are at war with Islam. What I'm trying to say is that there is a struggle with, within the Islamic world between moderates and radicals to use a familiar expression to us. Where the radicals and extremists are using or abusing the grand teachings in justification on their activities. It seems also to me that today the extremists are getting the upper hand in this battle for the control of the Muslim world. Eight years after September 11, Al Qaeda may seems to be a threat of the past here in America. But it is not, I'm afraid. If they have not attacked again this country, it's because they did not have the opportunity to do so, thanks to the effort bold by many to thwart their ambitions. Here and in far distant places like, like Afghanistan. But make no mistake, if you have the time to look at the map of terrorist attacks in the last years, the picture cannot be more troublesome. From Morocco to the Philippines, they are more active in what they consider to be the land of Islam, the geography of the old time gone caliphate. They are nonetheless committed to rebuild. If Al-Qaeda is led, well, it's not simply because its global reach and its states for mass destruction, important as they are these characteristics. To me, Al-Qaeda is led, well, because it's religious motivation. The jihad is not another insurgency, even if this time is global. It's a religious phenomenon, a religious war, which against us infidels. And precisely because of this religious component, it has been so difficult to understand by Western secular societies. I remember very well that when I start talking about their goal to rebuild the caliphate, people look at me as if I were a lunatic. And not so many years ago. From my own experience, I am convinced that the war on terror can be won because, as I have already explained in previous lecture at this university, I myself have fought against terrorism and I have faith in the strength of democracy. I know that victory is possible, although it may be hard borne and demand perseverance and considerable effort. But victory is possible. 